They'll be calling you a radical. A lot of stuff to talk about today, Fukushima. Number one, Jacko has joined the ranks of us anti-nukers in a big, big way. Remember, as this pours out, as, and that's this rough draft YouTube videos of mine, sometimes I forget that in the early days, people, we have to reinstate so many things over and over, especially from the early days, as so many of us have been here the whole time, we just take it for granted that the posture groomed, passive aggressive television reporter lovers understand the inception, which they obviously, no one does. I mean, our small army, our small group. In the early days of Fukushima, when it happened, I've given these reports. There's some people over there who speak fluid Japanese that I'm with. Some people that I knew when I graduated from college. The number one school business in the United States. Then, like yesterday at the university, somebody says, you know, there's 27,000 students up there. Our small elite finance corps, the year I graduated, 27, half were Japanese. How come there's no Jap? I don't see, where's, what happened to the Japanese students? I says, our school business isn't number one no more. It's off a freaking cliff. Why would they come here so they don't? But I was associated, so I was getting things from Japan in the very early days. Kathy Iwan was over there trapped with her young children. It was funny because here she is, here's my friend Mikado, they probably are five miles from each other. I mean, it's amazing and it's got to go like this. That is the power of this incredible medium that we have. There was so much information flowing, people were scrambling for info. I mean, think about being there at the time of this. I mean, do you know how, and having young children, I, you know, I know the young Japanese females, which by the way, like I said, in our elite finance school that we grew up, talk about hard, I mean, start with over a thousand, end up with 27, brilliant, 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 with children, they were panicking, they were panicking so hard, and rightfully so, Kony, who's in Japan, the new senator-elect, the ex-congresswoman from Japan, Born and raised in Fukushima, we've been trying to put the heat on her, but you know how this is all falling in Southern California and, over, and everything. It's Taurus economy, Taurus economy, Taurus economy, passive groom, postured behavior. It blows my mind how still, after all this madness, after the 9-11 lie, after all these lies that comes out, too big to jail, think that this passive-aggressive approach still works on all of you. It, it, it's when the Democrats split in 68, that party split, and the Progressive Party wasn't progressive anymore, become liberal, and it got soft, and the early forefathers, that's why we're walking to Hamilton's grave. I mean, it was sick to battle out fight. Kathy emailed me yesterday, my friend, she's Japanese, you know, some links from Japan, I'm like, can you read those for me? Yeah. She says, Gregory Jackal is going on the road in Japan as an anti-nuclear. Now think about this. Think about this. This is a big, big deal. And I know I spazzed out yesterday, and I flipped out yesterday, and that still pisses me off so much. And I have all these beautiful females that keep me grounded that I've met through this YouTube site, and so many of them are Southern California girls. It's amazing. It's amazing. I have my theories on that, too. Because as growing up in Southern California, they're all the same age. They're all the same because... California in that days, we were, it was such a healthy, healthy, healthy environment and society and taught to so be in tune with that mighty blue Pacific Ocean, that spiritual being that it is. And people that don't think it's a spiritual being don't know that it's a spiritual being. Oh, is it? Just like the dolphins are. Just like the whales and the mammals. This asshole who sent this out here and thinks it's funny. You know, it, it, it lit me up and so so many of these girls have Kevin, Kevin, you got to stay on focus. You know, these trolls, these rats, that's what they do. This is how the other side plays, the Chernobyl playbook. It really threw me off my game yesterday so hard. It really violated me as a cancer victim. Look, Kathy was over there. She, this is baptism by fire. Jacko, in the early days, remember, and I'll re-explain this to a lot of people that don't know this. 
When Fukushima happened, Radnet, Gina McCarthy was head of Radnet, that's a radiation detecting of organ, lit up like a Christmas tree. We're being hammered in North America. People are freaking out, and rightfully so, and it's being reported in contemporized media. It is being reported. You know, diluted, but reported. Jackal's called the Situation Room. He comes out, and you can see his face. You know, by the way, Jackal was pointed there by Harry Reid, who's from here. He's a Mormon, Utah Mormon, who worked right out here for Thiokol when the booster rocket blew up, who's right there where Yucca Mountain's supposed to be. These things all come full circle, and they all tie. He was appointed there for, for one reason, to block Yucca Mountain, period. Same reason Allison's there. McFarland now, it's serious. Point, I mean, that's the second most powerful man maybe in the world, Harry Reid. He's a Mormon, by the way. That's a whole other thesis I can go off on. He's called to the Situation Room. You can see those photos when he comes out. He's like, he's called to the Hill. There were hearings. You could see him on the Hill. He's just, he's like a, he wanted no part of this. You can almost read it on his face what he was told in the Situation Room. You know, to dummy this down. We're going to raise the limits. We're going to crash rat net. You know, Lisa Jackson, head of the EPA at the time, she could think, oh, she works for Apple. So, you know, maybe she can, she's probably over in China now telling them how to put pillows in their nets, you know. If they were giving me 30 cents and enslaving me, Apple, I would jump to my death, too. They won't even let them do that. They put nets around Foxcoms. That's who she works for now, Apple. He comes out of there. He's broke ranks now. I got this email from Kathy. who, And think about this. She becomes so paramount in the song to shut down all songs, the San Onofre, which happens on June 6th. These things are, these are powerful things. He is on the road with the ex-prime minister of Japan. Now think about the ex-prime minister of Japan. He says it straight up. You know, the, the Americans, you know, was it the CIA that had the pressure on him? Was it the General Electric? He says it himself. They freaking funded him. They propagandized him to build the nuclear industry up in Japan. He's with them. They're on the road as anti-nuclear advocates. Wow. As I want people to understand, people think I'll uh, take them back. This posture, soft, passive, aggressive behavior that we've turned into, it's only 30 years. It didn't exist in America. You think it's normal. You think NPR talking like this. You think that's normal? No, that's the fucking problem. Yeah, the radical right. Where is the Republican? Somebody says, well, I'm a, I'm a listener to Kevin because I'm a Republican. There are no Republicans left. Those guys, as I'm friends with Alan Simpson's family up there, he was a Republican. He was a great, a wonderful man. You know, they had logic, they, they, both parties were somewhat progressive, but what have we morphed into? The soft passive left is pathetic, and you guys all think, anybody raises their voice, anybody gets loud, anybody tells the truth, there's some called radical, wow, as Jesus Christ was a radical. You know, it kills me how this is, literally is killing me, how this has evolved and morphed into this. He's, this is a big deal, this is baptism by fire, now they're like, okay, Kevin, what about you? You don't think I got a speaking part? I reported the stage. I'll tell you how I got baptism by fire. We're sorry, Kevin. That mass that's in your body that you thought you had food poisoning. I'm so, so sorry, Kevin. It's a nasty, nasty cancer. We think it's in your liver. We think it's carcinoid cancer that's intestinalized. You maybe have two months. That was my baptism by fire in October 13th, 2011. Twelve different doctors told me that. It was the 13th doctor, Dr. Hansen, finally stepped in, in my knowledge of this. You don't think this is baptism by fire? By fire? And uh, people need to understand that this vlog is my way to stay alive in so much. Anyways, this my way as an artist, my way as a writer. This is literature. I foresee in the future, I really do. People say, well, I, know, I foresee this tale being told be these YouTube, my YouTube camera. I, I foresee this being remixed. And I foresee in the future people walking into a library and saying, oh, I want to check out, you know, The Pacific Genocide by Kevin Blanche. The, you know, whatever it is, it's called The Battle of Cement by Kevin Blanche. You know, Post Ignorance by Kevin Blanche. And they're going to check it out on video. Or they're going to sit in there and they're going to have... And if you don't think libraries are evolving, look at some of the beautiful things that libraries... Look at... Wow, look at the seedings in the New York City Library, what they've done. I think that's what's going to happen. And they're going to sit and, they're, and you know, think about reading a novel. How long does it take you to read a novel? Everybody says, well, there's a lot of video content. A novel is a lot of freaking content. And you go in and say, it's definitely in the nonfiction section. 
and you'll watch this because I've reported that this isn't 9 11 Naomi Wolf, Chris Hedges coming back after the fact, Grant said. This isn't, oh, Wall Street freaking crash, I'm going to write a book after the fact. You know, that's what literature has been. No, this is very, very different. This is in real time. I've told this tale in such incredible fucking detail. And this is Kathy Coney in Japan. They, these beautiful women speak fluent Japanese. They've done so much. This army is so powerful. It's like this asshole puts out this thing yesterday on the wells and I cycled out on it, you know, and I flipped my lid, spilled coffee, almost ruined my camera. And they're like, you can't let these trolls, these rats get to you, Kevin. Say, grounded, I've been good. It's these Southern California females, so many of them the same thing. Lonnie Clark, Joni Ray, so many of them have, keep me, have kept me grounded. And so many of them have came to me and here's exactly what they've told me. And this really burns through me. It means so much to me. I think this is so paramount in this whole struggle of mine and my staying alive and how life is more than who we are and these spiritual beings that people for millions of years always worshipped that mighty blue Pacific is this maybe the most powerful spiritual being on earth. Whether it be God, whatever you want to call it, be pagan, whatever. So many of these women have come to me and said, Kevin, I had this dream. I had this dream, you know, and they're all Southern Cali girls who grew up on the Pacific that are about my generation or a little bit older. So many of them, even some of them younger, it says, I had this dream and I just got up in the middle of the night and I started Googling and dates and boom, there it was. They didn't even know about Fukushima. These are women who didn't even watch TV because their intuitive, beautiful sense was nurtured in the 50s and 60s and 70s. It was nurtured in this country. It's how healthy this country. That Southern California dynamic was so healthy. We were taught to live in symphony with our environment. They knew. They knew. So it was like, we call it salt of the earth. I grew up on the edge of this lake. That's what it is. It's that intuitive, logical sense. But it's more than that. It's being in tune with this. The dolphins are speaking to us. The sea lions are speaking to us. So many speak to us. But no, instead of listening to the mighty blue Pacific and listen to the sea lions and listen to the beautiful, incredible dolphins and listen to these incredible women with these incredible minds and logic that are in symphony. Listen to people. No, you're going to listen to, oh, this is NPR. The Pacific is being poured in. Oh, we're building an ice wall now. You won't listen to the truth. You refuse to fucking listen to the truth. You don't want the fucking truth. You don't want it. You're so postured and fucking groomed. You're willing to go to your fucking death. I've seen it. I've seen it. Oh, this is God's will. You know, this is God. If I go back to Steinbeck over and over again, literature, I go back to at the end of East of Eden when he's blaming himself so much and Lisa's Tim Show. That is out of the New, excuse me, the Old Testament. Thou mayest. That means men are responsible for their actions. That's what, I, that, Tim Shell, that is it. This is it. Steinbeck, I keep falling back to Steinbeck. I keep falling back to Steinbeck. As he says, we went from the we to the I. I said we went from the we to the I, back to the capital we, the biggest we in human history, back to the ca biggest capital I in human history. The diversion of wealth proves it. And that's why we're going to Hamilton's grave. Thou mayest. Men are responsible for their actions. And when you're dying from nuclear fallout and they give you cancer, it's not God's will. Now, maybe it's God's will to take you the next place is this pure fight that I've been in. I've been, look, they quarantined me in there for a long, long time. I was quarantined for so fucking long in there. You don't think, I mean, they don't let anybody in. I'm slipping in and out of a coma. I was so fucking sick. I did videos out of my fucking room when I was fucking actually could do it. But I've watched these people pass. And I want people to remember this is what I'm up to in its purest form. Paul, Carla, Dwayne. I go on and on, Gail, Christy, so many of us little kids that grew up in this dynamic right here, a past from leukemia, nuclear fault, Utah, the autism, the nuclear fault, capital of the world. Nobody wants to talk about it because it's so passive. Newscasters don't tell you. Passive aggressive behavior is by far the soul, the nastiest, the dirtiest, the rottenest, the weaselest. But that's who you, you've been partially groomed to believe that. I'm fighting for them. They call it the good fight for a reason. I've watched it. I've, I've watched this death so many times in my face now. It's heartbreaking. I watch this purification. I've gone through some type of a purification. I really have. I'm so different. Somebody says, God, Kevin, you're so different. And I says, how could I not be? How could I possibly? I'm doing what I was intended to do at this pl my place and space and time. I was put here to do this for a reason. Tell the tale of the atomic veterans. Tell this tale in detail in this modern day literature of mine. That's what I'm doing. I'm telling, I'm fighting for them. 
I'm fighting the ones that are past. I'm fighting for the people that are unborn yet that will get leukemia from this. And there are no answers. And for this fucker to do this up there and think it's funny, wow. The people who pass, it's a purification process. I've watched it. I've watched, it's unbelievable. It's like those girls in Southern California that are in symphony. We were taught, and they learned how to live in symphony with their environment. We don't even try. Not only do we don't try, nature is a whore. We prod her, we fuck her, we kill her, we fucking rape her. You're raping your very fucking own fucking mother. And these women, they get it. You know, Gregory Jackal breaking ranks like this, which he did before. He showed up in Southern California. As I say, we're going to hit the beach on June 6th, and they come out that morning, but we're shut down. It's been Cassandra light because I am the salt of the earth, and this is baptism by fire. That's why I have a speaking part, and I always have from the day one, because of the death of my atomic veteran father. Nuclear fallout is cancer. Nuclear fallout is murder. Fukushima is the greatest ecological catastrophe in the history of humanity. It is so grotesque what we've done to the mighty blue Pacific, the Pacific Genocide. Stay on tune it.